but me share risking with pen. I've been making illustration of how to achieve hyperrealism with pen, but now I want to share it myself so that you will see how everything is being done and also understand how artists really do it, how I really do my drawings. First, I will need a referral piece, something that is rough, tough, thick, dark skin that looks really difficult. And I choose this. Uh, this will answer what I want. Now, let's do the drawing. It's for this part of the skin. I will explain everything on how you will achieve that realism and skin pause. And watch me as I do it. First is creating your layers. You can use hatching, cross hatching for this. You create your hatching, then use other line and cross hatch it. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm hatching it. Then when I'm done with the hatching, you can then use your pen and cross hatch it. It's simple as that. This is the first thing you will do when you want to achieve this skin pause and realism in your drawing. Make sure you always clean your pen to avoid bleeding in the main joint. So I clean my pen then start the drawing. What you are doing now is creating light scribbling. They are bigger now. You are making bigger scribbling on top of the layers you created. So you do this for all the parts you are shading now. I am shading this particular side. So I am doing it for this particular side only for now. The essence of this is to give you the first rough look because the picture i'm drawing is really really rough so i'm giving a first rough look that it needs that's this problem that you are doing Next thing I'm doing here is to doing the same scribbling, but I'm making it more tiny now. This is where the skin pores we start creating. You start creating those skin pores and textures in the picture. So you make it very tiny, not too much. You make the circles you are creating now, the scribbling you are creating, more tiny now. Trying to bring out those pores and wrinkles in the picture. I'll make sure that when you are creating this small scribbling now that you are following the image because a skin texture differs so the side of the skin texture the side it is facing that's where you will do the scribbling if it's the texture in the picture is facing horizontal then you do the scribbling horizontal form you are trying to get exactly what is in the picture so mind when you start creating these tiny circles it sounds impossible but this is really what pen artists are doing especially those skin textures are being added one after the other if you want to make it simple for you this is the only way to make it simple for you do that scribbling to the direction of the skin and then detail it one after the other Here you should make very good use of dots. Dot is the dot you create, normal dot you create, but you are making it blunt when it comes to realism in the skin. So you are making it dot closer to any white spot you see at that particular place you created scribbling because that's the essence of that scribbling, creating a white, a white and dark line. So you are creating dots beside those white parts, making the work look more hyper realistic. Look at what I'm doing very well. You understand that I'm following everything one after the other. 
those white bars i add lines i add dots those are what makes it look that hyper realistic so i forgot to tell you for the materials i use for this drawing is needle point paper and big pen that's the only materials i use for this drawing so if you want to make something like this you can use any other paper i can use rough paper i can use smooth paper to achieve this but the one i'm using now is nato point paper and big pen this particular side i'm shading now is the shadows because of the hem and the lady was wearing so these shadows you use your hatching and cross hatching to create, create it make it come closer to each other make it more thick so that it will look like shadows shadows are things that make that work look hyper realistic don't look down on shadows shadows on a pen drawing when you are drawing both pencil anything they are the things that make the drawing look more beautiful so make sure you add those shadows to the drawing Watch closely, you notice that I'm blending smoothly to that other light part. One thing you guys made mistake about is the details you are adding in the cheek and not the details you add in the other side. If you study a human skin where you understand that the details in, his, in the lady's face are not all the same. So the shading you do for all the, all the faces will not be the same. A side you use those lines, you will not use it here. In this particular place, what you will use here to make it realism and realistic are dots. So never make a mistake that is only scribbling that makes your work look more realistic, that makes it look more real. If you do scribbling for all parts of the body, you might end up not getting what you want. The details in the faces are really really different. That's why you need to study them, study the face very very closely before you start shading it is very really, really important this is the main thing the main place you gather the knowledge you gather the vision you gather the picture of what you are drawing for details the time you take doesn't matter for me taking two weeks to draw doesn't matter the main thing that matters is the result that bring out so don't always try to rush the work and expect that you get an output that that took me two weeks to achieve. It's not possible. If you really want to get those details, that means you need to take your time to do it. This didn't take me much time. At this level, I I spent around two hours to reach this level, this stage in the drawing, this particular stage, two hours. It's not quite long, just take your time, you get the details, you get the skin textures. If you watch closely now, you see that I'm adding details at that part of the skin. So the details I'm adding at that part of the skin are lines because there are lines in that picture. So it's really about following the picture exactly. If you want to get a photorealistic drawing, some call it Afro realism, some call it short realism. So you need to follow that picture. The details you might add in the cheek might not be details you are adding in the nose. So it really differs. You cannot just say this is the main thing you do to achieve hyper realism. To get realism in artworks at general, you can do it. Anyone can do it as far as you know how to draw. But to get those skin pores and skin wrinkles, you need to follow those image. That image very very important. Study it. For me, detailing is the fun part of the drawing. It's the place that I find joy doing. I enjoy doing it most time because it's the only thing that differentiates you from other artists from you because other artists are making their work realism but when you make your own afro realism short realism then you will see those kind of 
beautiful it looks marvelous those types of comments so try to make those work look hyper realistic with this method that i use and um, make sure you study the photos that you are drawing before you start shooting now on to the next part here you do the same thing nothing much just the difference of the details and the skin pulse so you use your hatching and cross hatching to create your layers always go for layers where you don't start detailing just like that you will ruin the whole drawing because those pores and wrinkles should not be pure white it should not be pure white there should be a shading beside it so there is nothing much i did there it's almost the same thing it's just the same thing that i did at the other side that's what i'm doing here so follow that image you are drawing and create those lines and pores wrinkles watch me you see what i'm doing You also can achieve this look in your drawing. Just click that like button and subscribe to this channel. The fun part is the details. I love this. I love the look and the outcome. If you want to improve more, watch more videos from this channel and you enjoy everything. Comment any question or any video you want.